All right. Uh, as promised uh, to a fella, I can't remember his name. Uh, he was having problems with his trad veins, not sticking to the shafts, and wanted to know how we were doing it easily. The ones that said it was easy for them is for me. Um, haven't had them problems with them not sticking. Um, these are the, actually the first set I've done. These errors that I bought just happen to have wraps on them, so that's what I went with. Uh, maybe wraps are a key, maybe not, but they should stick to normal shafts too. I've uh, done one on a wood arrow and it stuck fine to that port over suitor with the finish on there, so I don't know. Um, anyway, the tools I use, uh, the blue cap Gorilla Glue, use that on everything from inserts to feathers, um, no problem there. Uh, the four inch trad veins, um, I'm using a right wing Bitsenberg clamp and toothpick. I always use toothpicks and I'll show you why. I mix my glue up a little bit, make sure it's good mixed up. So the adhesion factor is maximum. All right, so I'm gonna take out one ch -ch 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 trad vein. All right, now maybe this is something else that I do different than anybody else. Normally when you put a feather in your clamp, you'll put it in your clamp and it looks like this, right? It's all the way down to the base of the quill and all that. I, that's no bueno, and I'll show you why. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and put my arrow in my clamp, and I always test fit, right? So I'll put my clamp on, and I'll see how it's attaching to my arrow. And if you'll notice, with the quill all the way down in the clamp, if you can see this, if it'll focus. I have a gap right there between the quill and the arrow shaft. That's no bueno. I'm gonna pause you just for a second. All right, so what I do to get that gap filled up is I'll take my clamp and I'll take my vein and I'll line up my mark. I'll find the mark that I want on my Bits and Burger clamp. I'll line it up and then I'll pull it out of the clamp evenly or as even as I can top to bottom. Now that takes a little bit of practice. But once you do one and you figure out how to do it, it's really not that hard. So I get it out about that far off the clamp and then I test fit it again and make sure that it's touching the shaft from top to bottom just like that now it's contacting the shaft all the way up and down so I then pull that back off now that I know what I got and then it's going to contact the shaft uh, Not real glue heavy with these, not like a feather. Just enough to fill up that channel in the vein. That little extra love ain't gonna hurt it. But I'm cheap and I don't like to buy glue. And with it raised up out of the clamp like that, you're not gonna glue your clamp to your vein because the glue doesn't get anywhere near it. So I get it on there, make sure it's contacting. And that one worked perfectly. So I'll turn you around. I got it on there. Push my clamp down until it's contacting the shaft all the way up and down. So folks, that's as easy as one, two, three. Now I'll take and leave that. I, I do leave my I do leave them clamped um, a little the clamp time a little longer than I would with a, a feather. Uh, maybe three or four minutes, sometimes five minutes, I'll leave them clamped in there. Uh, and just make sure that they hold real good. That's all I do. That's as easy as it gets. So I'm gonna pause this, let the clamp time expire. I'll come take it off the clamp and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done and how clean it looks. I'll be right back. All right, it's been about three and a half, four minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead take the clamp off. <clears throat> take the air out and show you. Um, I'm adhered. It's gonna focus. Focus, 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 focus. This is 
Come on now, camera. Be my friend. Anyway, there's no gaps, no creases, no anything. It's not pulling up from the wrap at all. Uh, it's perfect. So I'm going to set this back on there and uh, do a couple more and get this area ready for tomorrow's 3D. But that's how I do my trad veins. It's as easy as putting fletchings on, uh, in my opinion. Um, all I got to do is pull them up out of the clamp just a little bit, uh, give them that little bit of breathing room, um, where, and then test fit on the shaft to make sure they're going to contact all the way around. Uh, what I use the toothpick for is if I do put it on the shaft and when I'm pushing the clamp down to uh, marry the vein to the shaft, if I do see a gap, what I'll do is I'll take the clamp a little bit and then I'll take the toothpick and kind of pull down as I'm letting the clamp loose just a little bit and it'll fall right into place and uh, being right, right in line with the rest of it. So that's what I use the toothpick for. I didn't get to show you that though. But anyway, this is Paul signing out. Shoot straight. God bless.